Hi, I'm Mr. Tight Eye. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, well, first off, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos, giving them thumbs up, and liking them, and sharing them every place, and donations to my PayPal channel. All of that stuff really helps keep me going. Uh, these videos are time consuming but I really enjoy doing them and I get so much feedback from around the world so thank you I do plan on continuing to make videos so today what I'm going to do I had a request somebody wanted to know how to do letters so I'm going to demonstrate uh, letters now typically what I do is I would stitch the letters that's what I do now but back before I started stitching I used to fold them so that's what we're going to do is get these letters folded and tied in and some of them are different than others uh, you just have to kind of work your way through each of the letters and what works the best for them so what I do for most of them is I'll go ahead and raise the letter up above the rest of the t-shirt so like for this L I'm moving the the L that I drew up above and I'll kind of get the other one done the same thing and these ones I can lay those together the main thing is just making sure that you don't have any of the rest of the t-shirt bunched up in there so you just kind of have to work with it play with it however but once I get that up there, then I can fold the two parts of the L together, just like that. You can see this. So I just folded it right in there, folded it together. So this here is the L all the way on there. So now what I'm going to do, oh, I guess I can't. That's, that's not symmetrical. So I can't put that in there just yet, but I can fold down. So on the shorter part of the L, I'm folding that down. And now I'm going to fold the top of the L back. So really what I'm trying to do here is just line up all of these areas where I've drawn the letter on, line them all up together. And then I just do a little bit of an accordion fold. So the main thing is just making sure that all of the area that you're writing on is it has been included in here and none of the excess. Otherwise your letters are going to look funky. So I just accordion fold up on top everything that needs to be dyed and I fold the other things down. So uh, let's see if I can get in there. So this part here the line stops right up here so I'm just gonna fold this area down and then the same thing on the short part I'm just folding them down out of the way and then what I'm gonna do is you can either tie this with sinew or I, I like to use kite string the sinew will give you a white line around all of your letters and also it might help prevent some of the dye from spreading in places that you don't want it to but basically I just try to tie like the top quarter inch around there and I'll wrap it around a couple times and just kind of pull that tight if you're using sinew you can wrap it around and cinch it down really nice and tight there once I have that tied up then I'll go ahead and tie this off and then we'll move on to the next letter And each letter is going to be just a little bit different in the way that you tie it off. Just because, like the O here, is symmetrical. So I don't need to try to raise all of that up. I can literally just center that O and make it symmetrical. So now I have just half of the O, and I can just do my regular accordion fold down here on the table instead of raising that part up now you can you can still if you want the letters to be to look exactly the same in the method of uh, tying and dyeing you can raise that up I just for myself I know that the O is just easier to dye it to fold it this way 
So that's just a, a personal preference. And once I get that tied up, then I'll do the same thing. I'll just wrap the sinew, wrap the kite string around it. Okay, so now the V. The V is a symmetrical one, so that's like I was I started to do on the L is I just bring each side all the way up. And I'm just kind of poking it down there in the middle just to make sure that I have the nice shape of the V. And then I'm just going to line the two of those up. And that way I can fold those together. I mean, you can fold them individually if you want to, but any ones that are symmetrical, I like to fold them together. So usually what I'll do here at the top is just kind of fold that front edge over. And then that way when I'm doing my accordion fold, I'm getting just the letter that's raised up to the top here. And having the, the washable marker on the top there helps also. Oh, and just in case I didn't say it before, this t-shirt is has been soaked in soda ash and spun out so that right now it's just barely damp. That's my preferred method for folding t-shirts up. So now down at the bottom of the V, I finished off right here and then I folded that other part down below that line. So now I'm going to do the same thing is tie that off. The other thing, nice thing about it being damp is I can kind of give that a squeeze and then let it go and it will stay there while I get this ready. So I'm just going to tie a slip knot in this and then I can slip that right over top of this and then just adjust my folds where I want them and get this line, this string, right up at the tops. Uh, about a quarter to almost a half an inch but yeah maybe about a quarter inch there from the top there down and then I wrap that a few times to get it nice and tight and then tie it off Okay, now this last letter down here is the E. That one's a little trickier just because I have lines going in different directions here, but you just have to work it out. I'll usually start on this longer piece first. And just, I usually get that folded. And then it's a matter of working these other pieces up. And sometimes having a clip is handy. So this top part here that I've already worked on, I can put a clip on that to hold it in place while I work on these legs of the E. So I like to get all of them brought up to the top and then I'll unclip that and fold these right in there long next to the back of the E and this here will give you the letters they're not going to be the real fancy letters but this here is an easy way without breaking into stitching to do letters on your t-shirts 
So that's the top and the bottom legs and I still have this middle leg of the E left here. So I'm just going to work it up and then I can even just kind of wrap it around the rest. The main thing is that I want to get it up into this plane where I'm going to be dyeing the rest of the, the letters. So just wrapping all of the bits of the letter up into this top part here is the main goal. Once I get that done, then I'm going to tie another slip knot and tie this off. Okay, so I wrap that around a few times, pull it tight, and then tie it. Okay, now the next part. I'll go ahead and lay the t-shirt back out. And then I'm going to scrunch this up. And make sure that I leave all of these bits up on top here. And just kind of bring them together in the same general location so that when you're dying all your bits are fairly close together here and then scrunch the rest of the tea Okay, so there are my letters. I'm going to go ahead and get set up to dye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to add some dye to this. And I like to add contrasting colors just so that the letters are going to pop out better. Um, either you can make the letters black, but I'm going to dye the letters in yellow, and then right around them I'm going to dye in turquoise. And then, of course, any place that the yellow spreads, into the turquoise then I'll have my green so that'll make the letters pop out nicely so what I'm going to do is just pick this up and I usually kind of turn it around sideways so that I can make sure that I get dye all along the places that I raised up there and it's going to spread down in there a little bit for the O since I did this differently um, I just need to go along the line that I dyed here, or folded, rather than dyeing the top part of the O. So that's what I did, is just dyed that, both sides, and then the other two letters here. And I just keep adding dye, and I watch and let it soak down in. You don't want to just pour a whole bunch of dye or you're, it's going to just soak all the way through this whole channel here and your letters aren't going to be defined. So that's the nice thing about using these little tiny tip bottles is you can add the dye slowly on there. Okay, now I'm going to go around them with the turquoise. So this here will be the center of the O that I'm dying right here. Yeah, it probably would have been good if I had done the O the same way as the other letters just to make it congruent, but like I say, there's other ways of doing it, so it's just a matter of finding which way works the best for you. But this is something the I don't want this turquoise to spread down into the O 
the yellow part and completely overtake it. So what I'm going to do after I've applied this dye is I'm going to go ahead and put a clean rag and just squeeze that O just to get some of that excess turquoise out of there. That way when it sits here in batches this turquoise isn't running down into the O. So I just wasn't thinking ahead. I should have done them the same. If I pulled the O up I could have dyed them the same way as this. So anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and dye just around the base of each of these letters with this turquoise. And you just have to kind of move it around so that you can get in there and get all the way around the base. Once again, you don't want to oversaturate it because you might lose your letters. So just take your time and get in there and around each of the letters. Okay, now I'm going to dye just kind of a little bit of a channel. Oop, I got a little dot up there. Let's see if I can put some more yellow and wash that out a little bit. So I'm just adding a little bit more yellow in here because I can see some of the little white fibers sticking up there, which just indicates that there's needs more dye. So now I'm just dyeing a, a, all the way around the letters and what that's going to do is just put a, a channel of the turquoise going all the way down because I did the letters diagonally down the t-shirt. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. Just put turquoise right in that same area. And then the rest of the t-shirt I'm going to dye in a darker blue, a sapphire blue. So what this will do is put love going down diagonally in this turquoise channel. The letters should all be in the yellow with a green outline. And then dark blue around them. And that's how I, I do the letters if I'm going to fold them. Otherwise, for letters what I usually do is stitch them. And that gives you a better letter, but it's also way more time consuming. So this is a fun way to add it. And then, of course, you can draw the letters however you like. Although remember that however you draw them is the same way that you have to fold them. So if you get too fancy with your letter drawing, then you have to make sure you spend the extra time doing the fancy folds. That's the fun thing about tie dyes. You can think about something and then you can come sit down and make it. And if you can't figure it out, you can come to my channel and maybe I've figured it out. Or maybe post a question on my page. Because I do try to answer the questions, either explain how to make something or I'll let you know that I'll make a video. And that's what this one was. Somebody had asked about how to make a letter. So this is my response. This is how you make a letter. Anyway, so now I'm going to dye the back side. So I just make sure, I usually will hold that and just make sure that nothing is touching so that I don't get the dye spread around in places I don't want them. Although I guess I really didn't need this channel on the back. It just dawned on me that I only folded this on the front. So <laughs> we'll cover that up, but it'll probably still show up just a little bit. There'll be a little turquoise channel on the back with dark blue over top of it. So 
that'll be fine. Anyways, there's the letters. I'm going to let this batch for 48 hours and then I'll rinse it out and I'll have the results at the end of this video for you. So for you, just a couple seconds. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Okay, one more in this batch. This one I really love. And that's how I do letters. So thank you for watching. I'll have these videos up hopefully later this week or next week.